Hi there, my name is Drew, and this is the first video in the Advanced Photoshop Techniques series. This picks up where the basics series left off, and I'm going to assume you know the basics of Photoshop. This Advanced series is going to be targeted more towards the photographer than the average person. I'm going to show you how to use more advanced features to make your photos look even better. And we're going to get deeper and deeper into Photoshop. Okay, so let's get started. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to work with the Curves tool. It's a very powerful tool that I use a lot. It is essentially the Levels tool combined with the Contrast tool. And I'll show you. If I go to Image Adjustments, Levels, I can fiddle around with the levels. And there's about five main things I can do. I can adjust the shadows. I can fiddle with the midtones. And I can tweak the highlights. And that's all good. I can also clip the shadows. And I can clip the highlights. I never do, but you can if you want. You can also do this individually for the three different colors, red, green, or blue. You don't have to change all at once. But that's about all you can do with the Levels tool. So I'm going to cancel this and now show you the Curves tool. So it's in Image, Adjustments, Curves. Dum dum dum. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Uh, so what do we have here? Well, at the bottom left is your shadows. And it's a straight line getting brighter and brighter and brighter up to the top right where you have your highlights. And in the middle is your midtones. You can still fiddle around with this like you would the levels. If I move the shadows to the, le uh, to the right, it's going to make them darker. If I move them up, it's going to clip the shadows. If I do the same for the highlights, I move them to the left, it's going to make the highlights brighter. If I move them down, it's going to clip the highlights. And if I wanted to work with the midtones, I could click in the middle on the line. It'll make a point, and then I can click and drag the point. If I move it up, it makes the mids brighter. If I move it down, it makes them darker. Now notice how if I move this, it's actually affected all, all the things, all the way from the shadows to the highlights. Watch as I move it. Everything moves along with that point. And that's essentially where this tool gets its name, name curves. If I want to remove this point, I just click and drag it outside of that window, and it's gone. Now you might be saying, ah, but that's just like basic levels. What's the special? Well, you can do all that. Let me add a point back in for the midpoint. And now what if I clicked over here? I could actually add another point. So I'm going to do that somewhere in the middle between the mids and the highlights. So right about here, it added another point. And now I can adjust this point. So if I move it up, it did that. If I move it down, it does that. So I can adjust multiple points along this. And now notice how as I move this point, that curve line is actually pivoting around this point. So this point is like act, acting as an anchor. And as I move this point up and down, it's pivoting around that anchor. And so this is essentially now adjusting the contrast of the image. Right here, I have it super contrasty. If I move it down, opposite direction, it's super uncontrasty. Okay, I want to get rid of that point, so there, it's gone. I just clicked and dragged it out. And so now if I were to work with this photo myself, let me get rid of the midpoint from the moment. I want to make the darks a tiny bit darker. So I click and drag that over. And I want to make the highlights brighter, so I click and drag that over here. OK, 
Okay, and I would want to pull down the midtones a tiny bit, so I click to add a point and I pull it down a bit. Okay, so right about there is fine. And I would actually bump up the contrast a little bit. So I would add a point somewhere around here and just pull it up a little. And that's increased the contrast. I think you can start to get an idea of how powerful the Curves tool is. You can keep adding points and you can adjust all sorts of things. So it's actually a very, very powerful tool. If I unpreview that, that's what it started off like. It's dull. If I preview it, it's a lot more vibrant. Uh, the shirt's a lot better looking. It's a lot more contrasty. It's got better colors. And the subject, this person, actually stands out more against the background. In my eyes, it looks more 3D-ish. Let me unpreview it again. Dull, washed out. Preview it. Much better. It looks much more 3D in my eyes. Okay, so I like it. So I click OK. And there, I just did a curves edit. See, it was easy. Now, if this were my photo and I wanted to edit it further because this was taken, taken in the shade, there's a bluish tint and I want to add a warming color to it. Sadly, I didn't have a warming filter on my lens, but I can add one in in Photoshop. To do that, I just go to Image, Adjustments, Photo Filter. And I want to add a warming filter. There's two main types. There's 85 and 81. I want to add an 81, maybe about maybe about 20%. Unpreview that. More of a bluish tint. Preview it. The colors look a lot more natural to me. I like it, so I click OK. And there we go. I took a pretty plain average photo. This is what I began with. And this is the edited photo. I think it looks much, much better. It pops out so much more. Let me show you that again. Before. And with just two pretty simple edits. Not bad. Well, I hope this showed you how to work with the Curves tool a little bit. It's an introduction. Since it's, since it's so powerful, I'll be using it a lot in future videos. And we'll be using it extensively, actually, because it is such a powerful tool. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful.